All right, Crusader Kings, Elder Kings is finally here. I'm Balgriff. All right, so I'm gonna be playing as White Run. Uh, I'm thinking, honestly, I've been looking at the map a little bit. It's very cool, actually. Hold on, let me just look at a few things before. Like, look at this shit. This is this is wonderful. Got the capital of the empire. All right, but you got that. You got the fucking. You got the volcano, in fucking Morrowind. You got what I was so I was so happy to see was fucking Black Reach over here. Got this bad boy. Got Riverwood right here, which we will be taking eventually. Uh, what else do we got? We got some shit in Alinor, maybe. Oh yeah, this is cool. Neat. All right. That's all. That's all I wanted to see. I'd show you. Also, we have my fucking capital over here. We got the actual white run place, which is pretty neat. All right. So, anyways, I'm Yarrow Balgriff, and I will be. Uh, first, I need to decide who I'm gonna choose in the Civil War. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna align myself with Eastern Skyrim, just because I looked inside of it, and there's a lot more places to kind of conquer that I, I could get. So. See, I have this guy. They're all, they're all pretty small, so I'm, I could move, you know, I could kind of secure the center here. And then I also have this path of expansion this way, which is nice, so I can work my way up this valley until I reach the reach. The only thing I have to worry about, really, well, I have to worry about Western Skyrim wanting any, any of my territory, and I need to worry about this group of orcs down here called Falkrent. Which is where Falkreath would be. Which I, I, I've i never heard of these guys. But they are currently our biggest rival probably. They're my biggest threat I would say. Because they do have more. They have significantly more men. We have Huskarls. That's nice. Battering Ram. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a martial focus, and we will be taking territory, so I'm going to be going with a control focus, because that's going to make sure, and then I'm also going to be going, so I'm going to get the ability to raid first, but then I'm going to go serve the crown, because uh, I'm going to want to be able to raid for money early game. But I'm going to want this so my land, once I take land, is going to be, you know, under my control a little bit. So, I'm going to immediately, is neither, okay, so we need, oh, she's not my de jure. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that to fix itself. I might, I don't understand how she's not a neighboring fucking thing. Yeah, I'm going to attack Riverwood. First thing. Also, I'm going to check out what fucking... Oh, I can choose which patron. Is there Talos yet? No, okay. Mm, higher... Oh. That's kind of good, actually. Higher chance of capturing prisoners in battle. That might be the best one for me to actually do. Plus, it'll also give me stewardship. So, I'm a follower of Stun, whatever the fuck that is. Is there anyone I can make babies with? Who are you? Um, yeah, we're gonna go attack Riverwood. Real quick, I'm gonna be leading the battle. I'm gonna alter my battle armor, because it looks stupid. Uh, where the crowns at? Where the crowns, where the crowns, where the crowns at? Yeah, I found it! Circle it. Alright. We got your old bug re we re -kitted for best maximum epicness points in battle. Alright. Oh, someone wants to marry me? No, no one wants to marry me. I'm alone! What is wrong with these guys? These guys... Oh, I bet those things are really cheap, actually. Light footman, 12 maintenance, unraised. It's not bad at all. We could afford two of them and still be... See, uh, that's what I always try to do. I just try my best to always be a little positive during war. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. As long as you're point one in the positive during war, you're 
pretty good to win wars. Because money is a big issue. Look at this. Watch this. Ransom. 47 gold. Oh, I fucking... Hold on. I got a Siegis over here now. I was hoping... Nope. Okay. Worth it for 50, though. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. And... Is there any farms I could build? Oh, this isn't bad. I'll, I'll just build. Yeah, I'd rather build two... Get 200 men than... Oh, shit. Hey, 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 hey. I wasn't looking. Oh, they just got a... Oh, my God, they took it back. This is a travesty. This is a... Oh, boy. I don't want to... Oh, I did it bad. Let's see. Let's see how... Oh, hey. We got this. We got this. Yeah. We're just... You know. Built different. We lost our steward. But that's okay. Um, yeah, see? Everything works out. This guy fucking sucks. Why is he... What are you good at? Anything? Do you have... Oh. This is just unfortunate. Mr. Balger. <laughs> oh, no, okay. <laughs> she kind of sucks at not being captured. She does not deserve to rule Riverwood. I do, though. Riverwood is my bitch. Oh, yeah. Always accept that. There's no reason not to. You just get prestige or money. There's no reason to not do that. Who are you? I would rather not do that. I think you should be my vassal or die, honestly. Alright. You made your choice. I don't understand why... Oh, yes. Okay. So, we're gonna be her vassal. Wonderful. No obligations. Oh, no obligations. Cultural protectorates. It's culturally protected. Okay, I'd rather have no obligations. That sounds wonderful. I should definitely be their vassal. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep, my liege. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Active election in the High Kingdom. <gasps> it's a voting succession. That means that I can vote myself into power. And much like the Fuhrer of 1930, I think the election was 1936, I don't really know. Um, so we'll vote ourselves into power, and then we simply make ourselves the dictator for life. Very, look, I'm going to vote for myself. He 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 he, what he what would, oh, alright. Anyways, now we can kind of expand as we like. I'm gonna go after this guy because he's a big old poopy head and I kind of want his land. Oh, we're not in the negative, I mean the positives at all. See, I got, I'm gonna show you guys what I made Jarl Bogriff real quick before we start this little war. Uh, I made him a brilliant strategist, obviously, Jarl Bogriff. Uh, he's temperate, which is good. He's brave, which is pretty good. He's diligent, which is pretty good. Um, he's a blade master, you know. Uh, he's quick. And he I made him a mage because I really wanted to go. He's not like a fancy mage or anything, but I wanted to be able to go down the... Uh, here, I'll show you real quick. Oh, also this is cool. You can do rituals, I figured out. And as long as you're making positive magicka, which I don't know how to tell, you can do a ritual every day, which is cool. And they'll give you different bonuses. But, where the fuck is what I'm looking at? Where am I looking at this? So, they have a magical arts. And three fucking tears down, it has summon Daedric army. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to, to get that. All right, all right, it's war time. Yes, he will only lose 14 men. Reaver is, like, necessary when traveling. Even if you don't have Reaver, switch it to a general that does have Reaver. And then whenever you're about to get into battle, just switch it back to a general that doesn't have Reaver, but better battle, battle skills, because, uh... 
Ooh, I'm second in line currently. Who's outranking me? This guy. How many votes does he have? I bet he has like 10 million. He has 12. I have 4. Okay, now I'm not even... I'm not going to get close. I'm probably going to have to win through a civil war. I'll try my best. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. They're trying to go siege my place, but I have 11 fucking fort level, apparently. Three on that, even, so good luck to them. What does this place have? Like, three, yeah. So we have almost four times over their fort level. I could ransom him for 78 gold. Or I can just stop the war. Or... I can ransom him for 78 gold. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go kick these guys' ass real quick. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna go. Oh, ah, you fucking, you fucked up. You fucked up. Look. And they're dead. Okay. I think it's a, like a combination of gay and dead. They're dead. Go. Okay. They're gonna. No, they're not outrunning me. They're being stupid right now. Prepare to die. I need to go raiding after this, honestly. I'm wounded. That's okay. It might turn into a battle star, which is pretty cool, because then you get plus monthly prestige. I play this game too much, but it's it's a good game. I look at a map all day. Mm -hmm. Look at this map, though. This map is so fucking... Mm. <laughs> See, now that funds our war, which would have been over, but, uh, stalwart leader is necessary if you're going to be leading your own armies, which I plan on doing, because what I have found is that stalwart leader doesn't just lower the chance of not dying in battle, it pretty much makes it a guarantee. I've never died in battle with that trait, like, literally ever. In my like year and a half now of playing this game, I think it's been three. Only losing because we don't have the objective. I've been too busy kicking their ass, kicking their ass more. Boom! We win. Eh 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 eh. No. Okay. Oop. There you go. There we go. White runs a little bigger, and it is my personal domain, which I can have five actually, so I can have one more. Yeah, as well. Never let your kids go to feast, though. I never do, because they always come back with. <gasps> oh, I would love to get fucking holy warrior. Ten percent, I could become a worshiper of. I'm a totally warrior. This is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I lose prestige, but it's okay. This is only a medium chance. She's bisexual. I'm bisexual. I'm both bisexual. Alright. Also, pro tip. Um, I always make my game fucking goddamn uh, sexual orientation most common bisexual game rule because... Uh, you get a goddamn opinion modifier when they think you're attractive. And I am attractive. I'm a very attractive man. Okay, so we've sorted out our marriage. Now we're going to have kids. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're meant to go to war with this guy. Yeah, yeah, because it's, yep. All right, we're going to go to war with this guy real quick. quick. All right. Um, Riverwood does not like being under white run control, which is weird because they were very excited about it when there were dragons roaming around. Now, since it's not useful for them, they're like, no. You will probably win. Well, we will definitely win, considering we have three times as many. Three to one ratio in any battle. Proven facts by Sun, Sun Tzu. Art of War. That's how war works. 
Also, you should be on top of a fucking hill. That's, that's a very big point in Sun Tzu Art of War. I've never read it, but I wrote it, so... You know, I know what I'm talking about. But we'll do a diplomacy challenge. Uh, yay! We gained rice fields. Fuck you, Rift. We hate you. We hate you! There's a big mountain in between me and the Rift, which is very nice. Yeah, we're taking our capital. And then we're gonna take the actual land that we need. I do this for the sake of prisoners, because you could just, you know, win the war easy peasy right now. Uh, and I would probably actually do that, because I don't need money right now. Uh, see? I'll do that, and then I'll go win another battle over here. Be nice if we weren't wounded. Also, I like... I don't understand why there's a no obligations option. It's very exploitable, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be friends! Wonderful! I can murder her easy now. Play Game of Thrones. You gotta always be thinking three steps ahead with murder. Stuck in my room, loving and fighting this world.